Yeah, I guess. Thanks for coming this morning. Yeah. Great day yesterday. We started with a good recruiting class, welcoming four new Razorbacks and one that was already here, and then to go on the road in a really tough environment uh, against a team that's going to have a great season and uh, play it down to the buzzer and, and get a big shot at the end uh, to win it. So great day yesterday. Home safe trip, all of the above. Uh, just just talk about how your team was able to kind of withstand that environment in a, you know, first road, first true road game this year yeah. and to kind of be up against it a little bit. Well, we certainly didn't handle it uh, 100% great. You know, we had um, eight turnovers in a row at the end of the first quarter after having a big lead. Uh, you know, we kind of let some things get to us that are always going to happen on the road for the rest of the year. So we've got to do better at handling those things. But like we said as a, a staff when we got on the plane, that's a game we would have lost last year. No question about it. When adversity set in, we get down seven, we would have probably ballooned to a 15-point deficit and never had a chance. Instead, they fight back, they claw back, you get some situations. We got some breaks down the stretch, a, a rebound bounces our way, and Mal gets a, a fortunate timeout. Um, it's always really close when they're falling out of bounds. and Then to advance the ball, and. Uh, told free to hit a big shot. It was a great pass by Jalen Mason, too. That's the one thing that gets lost in that. She's our best uh, reader and inbounds passer. She made a great pass. And then, fortunately, that ball rolled around for a long time and ran the time off, and they, they it was actually a buzzer beater. So, learned a lot, but certainly not um, not all rainbows and unicorns. Just kind of what do you think about being a part of a double, basically a basketball doubleheader, uh, and how much do you think that you maybe feed off, get more crowd? I think it will help. Yeah, I think it's always a, a great opportunity for some uh, five or ten or five hundred new people to see us. Um, it's a great day of basketball uh, when you look at the teams that are coming in here. Um, you can come up, watch one game, go get a bite to eat, come back and catch another one. So. I love being a part of it. I know it's a strain on <coughs> our events people, and it's a parking issue for some of our fans, and it's a little bit of a challenge in some areas. But I think the payoff is worth it. I really do. And um, any chance we get uh, to see them play, our men play, they come and watch us practice almost every day. There's somebody in there watching us practice, and our girls watching them. So they really pull for each other. And to be able to play under the same roof on the same day, uh, it's really pretty cool. What do you know about Arizona State? They're the one team I just dread seeing. I mean, I'm not going to beat around the bush. They, their style of play matches up to ours. Um, they, they play the second slowest possession rate in the country. Um, there's people that chart that, and theirs is next to last. They grind it. Uh, if you watch their game with Baylor the other night, it is every cut is contested, every dribble is contested. Um, nothing is going to be pretty tomorrow night or Sunday night at seven o'clock. Is it 7 o'clock or 7.30? Yeah, 7. Very physical. Um, that's just a, a staple of one of Coach Turner Thorne's teams. Um, every time we see them on the schedule, regardless of wh who, who we are, you know you're in for it. Um, our guys' practice team this week will be able to play as physical as they want to. You know, a lot of times we have to tell them, hey, don't use your strength, use your speed and agility, but use your, they'll be able to play because we'll have to get ready for uh, 40 minutes or beyond of everything being contested. You talked about last, last year that you know, you might have lost that – Would have. Would have lost no that question. game a year ago. Yeah. Um, how do you kind of extra extrapolate that to – from playing Arizona State last year because they pretty well overwhelmed you. They did, and, and it was our first time to see that type of thing. So hopefully it was, you know, lesson learned. Uh, I also think being at home for us, a, a trip to Arizona is hard. The time zones are tough. It was a, a weird game time. Um, it was part of the Tournament of Champions high school tournament. There were lots of uh, high school teams there watching. So it was a, a great environment, but it was hard. It was really a challenge. So uh, I'd like to see vast improvement. 
And I know this. I know our approach is better. I think our kids are excited about them being ranked and having an opportunity to knock off a ranked team. Um, you know, you don't – a lot of times you're not a home, home team underdog very often, and we certainly will be. Um, so I think that they've embraced that. Uh, we talked just briefly about it, but I told them to stop talking about Arizona State and enjoy, enjoy a buzzer beater because I've been because this is my 19th year in college coaching and I've not been on the right side of a buzzer beater yet. So we're gonna we're gonna show that highlight as many times as we need to. There were some great bench reactions. That's what's fun to go back and watch. So Alexis has stepped up in her first two games as a Razorback. Can you? I, I think fans don't know who she is yet. Can you just tell us a little bit about Lex? I think it shows because when you hear her quote, she always wanted to be a Razorback. <clears throat> you know, we hear that a lot in other sports. I'm, I don't remember hearing that a lot on the women's basketball side. But to hear Lex say that, I wanted to be a Razorback, um, it's great that it's happening, you know, for a kid who says that. Um, she's very confident. Um, her teammates, she's earned the, earned the right to be confident because she's earned the respect of her teammates. Um, she is not a – you know, it wasn't a Jimmy Chitwood moment over there. Coach, give me the ball and I'll make it. It, it wasn't. It was, I'm ready if it comes my, my way. Confidence in her to do it. We had run Mal going to the corner. We thought they were going to try to foul. They had a foul to give. So, we thought they were probably going to foul on the catch. Um, and we kind of got a break that they went for the steal and Lex was able to split them. So, we really thought they were going to foul. So, um, she's just a joy to be around. Y'all, the more you get to be around her, the more you'll realize – you know, how lucky we are she did grow up wanting to be a Razorback. Yeah. <clears throat> how much can that uh, buzzer beater help, you know, moving forward, you know, when you get in tight games, you know, in the future? It Just their confidence over there in that timeout, looking at the board and uh, focusing in on it. I, I go back to that game we won against our men's practice team on a Sunday night in here with nobody watching. We've had to execute down the stretch. We've done that in practice now four or five times. So there, there was a sense of calm over there, uh, except by me. I was telling somebody to throw it in that wasn't even in the game. So we had to go have her, her go check in. Chelsea had just fouled out. So I'm, I've got Chelsea's name on the board. She said, Coach, I, you know, I fouled out. So um, them to have that uh, focus and ability to, to communicate uh, when it was heated, um, I think it'll help us a lot. I'm not saying that guarantees you're going to win every close game. It doesn't, but I think it gives yourself a chance. And all you can hope for is a chance in that situation. And when the chance arises, then you try to take the the, chance, the most out of it that you can get. But I do think it certainly helps. I think it helps in practice. I think it helps uh, everything. You, that shot doesn't go in, it's a completely different plane ride home. Um, you've said you like to find different groups of girls that work well together. How's that coming along so far this season? Uh, we're still getting more data. Uh, last night, we, our first group, uh, got off, got us off to a great start, and then when we made a, a substitution, it went the other direction. We turned it over six straight times. Uh, we were up 13 to four, and we ended up down 17, 16. So sometimes you learn some what not to do's. It may, it may have just been a bad lineup. It may have just also been the night too. You know, I, I won't completely scrap that particular lineup. We'll give them more chances, but more data uh, to go with, more things to practice, um, and, and I think the more chances we give our selves to to learn from that the better off we'll be but we'll keep trying it for a while Celebrate after that win. Uh, the team was very excited um and and got out of there as quick as you can when you get one like that you try to get to the bus and on the plane as quick as you can so they don't change their minds uh, go back to a video replay or something um but there was a lot of we had a lot of Razorback fans there um we had a lot of alumni uh, Taylor Thomas is from right there in that area so she had a huge family there um we actually had one of our recruits that came down that was actually signed. I can actually mention her by name now that she's – Ginger Reese and her family were there. Um, so, that's a great area for Razorback fans everywhere we went. We heard the hog call. Um, so, we stayed around for a little while. And then uh, some of the best roasted chicken and mashed potatoes I think I've ever had on an airplane was on the way home. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, you